Hey guys, what's going on? MasterFX here, and today I'm going to be going over another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to go about creating a 3D pyramid. So what I'm going to do basically is just create a new layer here. I already have a document created, and I'm just going to slap a granny on the background to help it stand out a little bit more. Like so. Alright, now first thing we want to do is create a new layer. Head over to our pen tool. We want to make sure we have our pass options selected. And basically we're going to be drawing out two shapes to create this pyramid. So first of all, we're going to create our first point at the top. Going at a downward angle to the left, we're going to click to make our second. And then our third point is going to be another right downward angle over here like so. Click to connect the dots. Right click on the inside, head over to fill. And you can pretty much select whatever color. You will. We will be changing them later on. And then once again, we'll create a new layer. And what we're going to do from here is basically click to make our first point at the tip of the pyramid. And then click to make our second at the bottom. And we're going to go over here at a right angle, like so. And then click to connect the dots. Right click on the inside, however, to fill. I'm going to select 15% gray, just to help it stand out a little bit more. Now you do want to make sure your layer 2 is above your layer 3, or your left side's above the right. Now to start, what we're going to do is basically give it more of a dividing line down the middle. So in order to do that, we're going to create a new layer above both of these. Head over to our brush tool, right click, make sure we have a hard uh, edge brush selected with the size of 4. And basically we're just going to click to make our first point at the tip of the pyramid going straight down the center. And then we're going to right click on this. Oh, let me make sure we have a layer selected here. There we go. Okay. Go down the center of the pyramid, right click, head over to stroke path, make sure our brush tool is selected, and hit enter. Now we're going to go ahead and give these um, some color in them. Now I would recommend either using gradients um, over just solid colors, but uh, it's all personal choice. So what we're going to do is create a layer above our right side. We're going to create a clipping mask to this, and then pretty much head over to our gradient option. Now I already have um, pre-made gradients selected out. Um, now I would recommend maybe trying to create your own, but I'm going to select the linear option here. And for the right side, we're going to go with a dark gradient, and we're just going to click out going left, to, uh, right to left. And basically, you just want a dark angle over here. I'm going to do the same over to the uh, left side, except for this time we're going to create a lighter angle. So I'm going to go with a different gradient and go left to right here. And basically, just uh, light up the right side like so. All right, now what we're going to do is head over to our little option here, the little brush that we created. We're going to head over to an outer glow, set our blend mode to normal, our uh, color to black, our opacity to 100%, and the spread up to about 9 or 10. And we're going to head back to our default options and lower the fill. Uh, so the black line is not just standing out. Basically what this will do for you is give it more of a uh, vivid outline. Um, just stating that yes it is a 3D object. And we can hit enter. And we're going to go ahead and head over to our uh, blending options on our right side. And once again we're going to select an outer glow. Our left side. Uh, blend mode to normal. Black as our color. And we're going to bump around with our uh, spread and size here. Once again, our opacity to 100%. And basically, it's just going to give it more of an outer glow, more of a defining look um, on the backdrop. And we'll click OK on that. And once again, do the same thing to the right. Blend mode to normal, color black, opacity to 100%, and bump up our size like so. All right, now while we're in here, um, one thing I recommend is heading over to the bevel and emboss option. Make sure we bump up our depths and size here just so we can get a little bit of an idea of what we're working with. Head over to our gloss contour option and we're going to play through these until you find something that you like. Um, not only bumped up the spread and size so much just so we can get a drastic look at uh, how much it's going to be affected. Uh, we'll be playing around with these later on. I'm going to do something dark on there. And this is just basically going to give it kind of like a glossy metallic look like so and we can do the up and down I think down looks a little bit better and we can just go in with that it looks pretty good and we're going to head over to the left side and check out what we have with our bevel and emboss options see if there's anything good uh, so we're going to bump around with our spread and size here once again and see if any of these will come out looking decent Put it at a different angle here. Yeah. No. 
All right, so we're just going to go ahead and leave it like that. Um, basically, just leave our left side, um, you know, more of just light it up. We can also play around with an inner glow just to see what kind of effects we can get. Just help it stand out some more. So I'm going to select the color to white. Pass you 100% and just play around with my size here. Like so. Last thing you want to do is if you want to give it more of a glossy little outlook on it, you can pretty much go to our left side, create a new layer above our gradient. Let's again create a clipping mask. Head over to our pen tool and just click to drag our first point and then create a little angle by holding, uh, continue holding down your left mouse button. And then we're just going to go around the pyramid and connect the dots here. Right click, head over to fill. You want to make sure you have white selected since it will be a glossy overlay. And we're going to add a, and add a layer mask to this. Make sure we have our gradient options selected to linear and the regular black to white fade. And click and just drag up at an angle. And I'll give it more of a glossy look. So, anyways, guys, I thought you would enjoy this tutorial. Uh, it's been a while since I made one. Um, if you liked the video, please remember to do thumbs up. You know, thumbs down if you don't like it. Um, but other than that, guys, take it easy.